What's up, everybody? It's Grammar. We are going to be doing some daily devotionals as to not only encourage my my own faith, but also to encourage you guys as well. So uh, let's get started then. So come to me with the teachable spirit. Well, let me specify with this. This book is speaking to you as if it's God talking to you. Just to clarify. So, come to me with a teachable spirit, eager to be changed. A close walk with me is a life of continual newness. Do not cling to old ways as you step into a new year. Instead, seek my face with an open mind, knowing that your journey with me involves being transformed by the renewing of your mind. As you focus your thoughts on me, be aware that I am fully attentive to you. I see you with a steady eye because my attention span is infinite. I know and understand you completely. My thoughts embrace you in everlasting love. I also know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Give yourself fully to this adventure of increasing, of increasing attentiveness to my presence. Some Bible verse to go with that. Romans 12, verse 2. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For I know, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope. In the future. I just want to say to each and every one of you that's watching this, as Peter was walking, as Peter walked on water, the only reason that he stayed afloat was because he kept his eyes on Christ. And in this day and age with technology and information and somebody always knows something you don't, it's best to focus on the one who made and knows everything. As, as Jesus also stated, the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. And so, knowledge and information is good. It's very good. But if we don't follow that simple command of love, then we're, we already failed. Me personally, I struggle with, I'd say I definitely struggle with loving people because I, I, it's hard for me to love myself and I, I genuinely mean that and it's something God's working on, but what it's, but it's telling because the other day when I was running, I, I was talking to Holy Spirit and a thought popped in my mind that just because you treat others the way you want to be treated doesn't mean the way you want to be treated is correct. And so I'm kind of diving into that. What does love look like? What is the, how would Jesus do it? You know? So, keep your eyes on Christ. Thank you for joining me this morning.
God bless. I don't want lies, I give me the truth Give her a man, forgive her a you